Good morning, student. Welcome to your English class. I am Charna Pujari, working as a lecturer in IPM School of Engineering and Technology. Today, we will discuss what communication is and communication as a process. So, we will discuss communication. C O M M U N I C A T I O N. And here, first question is, what is this communication? Communication we would discuss as a process and communication is a two-way process where the ability to send message is equally important to ability to receive the message. So here I told about two poles. One is the sender in one end and another is the receiver. Receiver in other end. There are two poles in the communication process. One is the sender and another is the receiver. Sender in one end, receiver is another end. You can say these are the two hands of the communication process. One hand is the sender and receiver is another hand. Okay. What sender does? Sender sends message. Sender send message. What he does? He send message. In this classroom situation, while I am teaching you, I am the sender and you people are the receiver. I am in one end and you people are uh, on the other end. What I am right now doing is sending you message through some, you know, channel. This is the channel, channel of communication, okay? And the receiver receive the message. But to send the message, a sender needs to form the message in his or her mind. The process of forming this message is known as encoding. What sender does? He or she encodes the message. What he does? He forms the message in his mind and send to the receiver who is in the other side of the communication process. Okay. So senders encode the message. It's, he sends the message through a channel, channel of communication. Now, what is the channel of communication? Channel of communication is something, a vehicle with, in which we send a message from a sender to the receiver. Now you can say the channel of communication is in this process, while I am interacting with you people, my language and my spoken style is the channel through which you people are receiving the messages. Okay, so now the message comes uh, from the sender to the receiver through a channel and the receiver is receiving now. So to receive the message, again the receiver needs to decode the message. To understand the message properly, to know the meaning properly, he needs to decode the message. Okay. So what is the process of decoding? Decoding is the process of understanding the message in, inside the receiver mind and again the receiver encodes the message, encodes the message to send a feedback. What he sends? He sends, he or she sends a feedback to whom? To the sender and I say this is the process of communication and this process of communication is a continuous process till one of the pole of this communication process which is the sender or the receiver if he or she decides to close down the process or stop communicating then the process ends there okay and till uh, the sender and receiver sending the sending the receiving process is you know it is a continuous process it's continued till the sender in one end or the receiver in the other end tries to you know they uh, think of sending you know uh, closing down the process by not sending the message okay so again this feedback come to the sender and to understand the feedback again the sender need to decode the message okay so the, in this process of communication, the sender sends the message through a channel to the receiver. Receiver decode the process, you know, message to understand. Again, receiver encodes, and after encoding, he sends the feedback, and feedback comes to the sender. This process is known as the two-way process of communication. What is it? It is the two-way process of communication process of communication
now if any barrier barriers means any interruption if it comes inside the process of communication it is known as noise n o i s e noise or barriers to communication barriers to communication what is a noise okay suppose i am sending you message through this recording system or the you know technical system if any barriers happens in between the sending and receiving messages if the technical failure happens you cannot able to hear what i am saying and you you cannot able to understand what i am saying then the barrier to communication occurs it is known as the noise inside the communication process noise is otherwise known as any disturbance any interruption inside the communication process okay this is what you understand by this two way process of communication now we would go to the one way process there is another process of communication that is the one way process of communication so what is that one way process of communication let's see okay one way process of communication process of communication like the two way process where the sender and receiver in two ends in this process one way process of communication the sender and receiver are in you know on the both the ends okay in one end there is the sender and at, at the other end there is the receiver okay again like this you know one way process sender send the message send message okay through a channel to the receiver okay to send the message again this you know sender needs to encodes now the receiver on to understand the message the receiver would decodes okay this is e okay sender send the message through a channel to the receiver but here the communicator on or the sender while sending the message to the receiver the receiver or the encode decoder he does not give the feedback here the communication communicate you know uh, receiver would stop sending the message or stop giving the feedback to the sender okay there the communication stop there where the receiver would not send the feedback to the sender okay so this is the one line process where the sender would send the message through by encoding through a channel to the receiver to understand the message receiver decodes but he doesn't send he or she doesn't send any feedback to the sender this is the difference between the two way process of communication and one way process of communication in two way process of communication there is feedback in one way process there is no feedback thank you